approximate height 150 centimeters approximate weight 70 kilograms era miocene possible habitat swampy areas sites chad africa year of discovery 2001 hello let me introduce myself i am sahelanthropist cadensis a name derived from sahel which is the region where i was discovered and from anthropos which in greek means man my name is tumai or at least that's how i was baptized by my discoverers tumai in the kanuri language of the sahel where i was discovered means hope for life because that is the name given to children born in the dry season i am approximately six to seven million years old for more information i will tell you that i belong to the period called messinian or messinian this refers to the last age of the Miocene epoch that covers a period between 7,246,000 years and 5,332 billion years. My cranial volume is approximately 300 cubic centimeters, very similar to that of today's chimpanzees, and my height was 1 meter and 20 centimeters, with an approximate weight of 70 kilograms. I am an extinct hominid species. I have no relationship with other earlier hominids, but nevertheless I am very close to hominids. My fossil remains were found in the Jurab Desert along with nine cranial and postcranial remains belonging to six members of my species. As a consequence of the position of my skull in relation to my body, I could have a bipedal position for short periods of time, because my occipital orifice, which is the place where my vertebral column is inserted in the lower part of my skull, indicates that I was possibly bipedal. The geographical features of the area where I lived 7 million years ago, in the Miocene, were not the same as now. I lived near the Mega Chad Paleo Lake, where there was a forest, a river, and a wooded savanna. In the fauna around me, thousands of vertebrate fossils have been found, such as elephants, giraffes, antelopes, hippopotamuses, crocodiles, lizards, monkeys, fish and wild boars. I fed on fruits, seeds and roots and supplemented my diet with small animals, because according to the morphology of my teeth, I could not eat very hard food because my teeth were small. In the places where my bones were found, no objects or tools associated with my existence were found, which means that there is no evidence of cultural properties, although it is possible that I used very simple tools similar to those used by modern chimpanzees, such as stones or unmodified wooden sticks and other plant materials. But the fact that I had a bipedal condition indicates that I could walk with my arms and hands free to use them as an aiding tool. There is no evidence of cultural attributes, but my species could have used simple tools, similar to those used by modern chimpanzees, including stones or unmodified sticks and other plant materials of very simple manipulation.